All right, guys, this is it. Welcome to Johnson Valley, California, the glorious, amazing, hot desert. And today we're getting the chance to take out and review, get it to experience the brand new Silverado ZR2 Bison. We have a ton all around me right now. We're joining a Chevrolet for this launch. We're gonna get a first drive. I can't wait because uh, I live about two hours away from here, so these deserts are my backyard. And uh, coming out here exploring the most capable, the pinnacle off-road variant you can get for the Silverado is going to be very fun. We're going to be driving the diesel version of the 6.6 .6 liter coming out to 470 horsepower and 975 pound-feet of torque. So let's go to the truck. Let's take it off for a drive. Now, this is going to take the ZR2 even further with all the American Expedition vehicle upgrades that you're going to want for the upgraded protection right in front of us. We're going to be going through some pretty crazy terrain with this. I'm excited to feel how it actually handles this. It's a bigger vehicle, it's an HD, of course. So this is gonna be a different challenge than the Colorado. You can trailer and tow with this, but then take on different adventures like this. Being you have the raised suspension by one and a half inches. Also, you have the upgraded uh, impact points all throughout the vehicle. New tuning for, uh, well, DSSV Multimatic shocks. These shocks actually have three separate spools per each damper, and uh, the performance from talking to the engineers are really proud of it. <laughs> My phone's beeping off. They're really proud of it. And coming out here, the uh, composure of off-roading, it's just comfortable. It's shocking to say that when you're climbing on the side of a mountain range <laughs> but it's adapting and soaking up all these dips and rocks very well look at that view all around us guys man this is a ton, ton of fun we got zane with me from gm trucks dude well, it's, it's been an honor to be here with you thank you man it's you're you're so much fun to hang around during these uh, dries i can't wait to see what you think about the uh, colorado as well i think we're gonna get to a uh, hill descend shortly I guess the glory of all this is that we've got um, 35s now, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's one thing that we've wanted to see for so long on the Silverado. Big boy tires. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh. You got to really trust the cameras for this. Holy. <laughs> oh, well, this is something I didn't expect to do in an HD, but it's able to do it, Zane. It's, this is crazy. <laughs> Now, I believe they're taking us on this route to show off the new Boron skid plate. So you have all the way from the front to the back for all the reinforcements, even for the transfer case as well, fully Boron. And let's try to figure out this uh, sideways angle. So what do you think, Zane? Goes uh, yeah, I would start turning that way a little bit, to be honest. To the right or left? Left. I think we're over a rock. Yeah, okay. just slow, steady try to find that that catch point you got more room on this side than it feels like okay there's a rock right there though in front of us just keep yeah keep going in there okay we're good dude you killed it <laughs> i love the sound of that a diesel right there 470 horsepower is going to be the maximum output you could get for the HD. Uh, standard for the 6.6 .6 liter is a little over 400. So you're getting a big jump uh, with the diesel version. Now, I know so many friends of mine who are total diesel fans. And um, yeah, it seems like for the best performance you can get, this is going to be the package to get. Let's punch it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the toy over here. It's crazy to think that you can tow 18,000 pounds and then uh, drop off your uh, toy in the desert or your track car at the racetrack. Then another day, uh, go off-roading like this, punch the gas and slide it around. <laughs> what do you think, Zane? I uh, it. It's actually pretty fun doing this, man. Now back in the standard drive mode, normal for the hauling or the long distance driving, the whole idea of this package is to give you that pickup truck utility of being able to haul. However, you still have all the function to go off into the dirt. So if, if your you know, plan is to get something versatile, I think for a big, large truck like this is, this could be a good option. Just you know, keep in mind it's gonna be more difficult in the tighter terrain. You, you can put this in 
crazy situations to show off what it can do. Necess do you necessarily want to keep pushing it through crazy technical trails? I, I wouldn't, it's a bigger truck. I think the Colorado platform would be a much better uh, bet for that. But then you, so you can't tow like this. This is it, welcome to Palm Springs. We're getting over to the right lane. We officially exited the desert terrain and we're getting back to our hotel. It's very relaxing after tackling crazy terrain and in mountains, going fast over to some bumps off the road, getting back on the street, everything just becomes plush and relaxing. Oftentimes with these uh, newer options on the market, they can have good performance, but then the problem is the technology feels a bit dated. Not like 2023 or 2024 coming up. Uh, getting in here, you do have the latest infotainment system for, from Chevrolet that, that we saw get updated a little bit ago. I do like how you have the HD rear view mirror right here. Um, I had this in my Corvette actually. You have all the windmills spinning away. Some of them are turned off. Over there it was one turned off. Getting into this truck, driving in, it is big, don't get me wrong. I do like how lifted up we are. It feels aggressive, especially with the black meshing right in front of me with badges for the diesel motor and the Allison transmission. This thing is built really aggressively on the street it can still be very comfortable. I could definitely see myself doing this. We're driving this uh, a long distance, cross country, even trailering a cool car to do the track, which I, I love to do. Um, I guess you can bring your whole RV, if it's less than 18,000 pounds, of course, your little camper behind you uh, to the desert, then unhook and tackle some terrain. That's the beauty of it. It's cool, it's unique. You can roll up to your buddy's house and show off how your Silverado is one of a kind. They said that the package is not limited. Anyone can go ahead and order it. But again, it's not gonna be something you see every day. If you wanna differentiate, this could be the package to get. All right, that's gonna wrap my time with the Silverado ZR2 Bison. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for much more great off-road content. Thanks to Chevrolet for having us out. Hope you enjoyed our coverage of all the, all the different off-road adventures that we experienced today and then testing out this vehicle on the street. It was a lot of fun. Overall, this is gonna be that off-road pinnacle pickup truck from Chevrolet that is able to take on the duties of towing and other utilitarian needs. It goes above and beyond what the standard midsize off-road CR2 Colorado Bison is able to do. Thanks for watching again. Subscribe. I'll see all of you in the next episode.